today we're going to talk about the circle. Watch what happens. So here, I've made a circle. This whole thing is called the circle. This outer part here, where I drew my line, that is called the circumference. And this part in the very middle is called the center. So the whole circle is called the area or the surface. Let's look at how I drew this circle. So I tacked my stick down on one end and I put my pen through here and I drew along the circumference. If we think about this line as being made up of a bunch of tiny dots all the way around, each dot would be the same distance from the center. And if we drew a line from the center to the perimeter, let's label our center, let's use a different color. So this is our center. This is our center. And this all the way around the outside to this whole line here, the purple line that we drew. It's called the circumference. circumference. So if I take a line and I draw it from the center to the circumference, this is called a radius. So from the center of the circle to the perimeter is called the radius. And if I take another, if I draw another line all the way across my circle, so from one perimeter, one part of the perimeter to the other, this, this is called a diameter. This is a diameter. And I can even use a ruler to make those lines instead of my sticks. So I'm going to grab my ruler And I can use my ruler just as a straight edge to go from the center to the perimeter, the radius, which will be a radius. So there I have my radius. I'll put an arrow pointing to it. And now I can draw my diameter. So it goes from one side, from one perimeter spot of the circle, through 
perimeter center to the to another perimeter slot on the circle. That is the right angle. So your follow-up work for this lesson is I have given you a circle and it has the center marked, but it does not have the circumference, it does not have a radius, and it does not have a diameter. So your job is going to be to use a ruler or a straight edge with something that's nice and completely straight. A ruler is good because we know that it is straight. And you're going to draw in the radius and the diameter, or a radius and a diameter. Because we could have a radius going from here, we could have one going here. This is also a radius. Okay, so you could draw as many radiuses as you would like. Please make sure to label them. In the follow up work, I have included labels to, um, for you to cut out and glue if you do not feel comfortable writing them. And so it says center, radius, diameter, and circumference. If you are able to write them, however, please do so. And please use cursive if you are able. Um, the work will be submitted, and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Have a great rest of your day.